before you buy a social media management course try and check the person selling this course does he have experience in managing social media pages and if he has experience which social media page has he or she managed before Good day beautiful people, my name is Timothy Olaiwola and um, I'm a social media manager. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about factors to consider when you want to purchase a social media management course. Either you're an aspiring social media manager or you started and um, you're looking for the next paid program to purchase. Here are a few things to consider. One of the factors that influenced my decision to make this video was that um, someone reached out to me one of my previous YouTube video on um, a paid social media course that I was to buy and then um, I gave him some tips and hacks back then and he executed the post course for a few tens of thousands of naira. Now it took the course but as of now he hasn't found an opportunity to put that course into practice. Now was the course good? Well yes but then um, there were some missing gaps in that particular course. And so this in this video, I aim to cover some of those um, missing gaps that were obvious, but it wasn't able to spot. The first on my list is expertise. Before you buy a social media management course, try and check the person selling this course, does he have experience in managing social media pages? And if he has experience, which social media page has he or she managed before? And are there proofs? Okay, can the person show you proofs? Now, if there are proofs, then um, you can know the step to take. But so the course content and curriculum. Now, um, even for traditional universities and schools, the course curriculum and content, the course curriculum are available to everyone. So also for social media managers or uh, vendors who are selling social media manage management course, you want to be able to check what is the course content of this course. You can feel free to ask the seller, okay? What is the content of your course? Now, by looking at the content, you can examine if it addresses some of the key topics in social media management. Because you want to be sure that it covers um, the key topics in social media management such that um, you don't pay for the course and then you look into it and they will be like, oh, there's nothing deep into this in, in this course. So you want to check the course content. Does it rhyme with rhyme with um what you perceive to be the key stuff in social media? Number three, reviews and testimonials. Well, this is a cliche. You want to check what are the past students say. Now, I'm not just trying to check um what past students are saying on the person's page because truth be told, some reviews are doctored. They give templates, okay, for they give templates for testimonials. So if there's templates for testimonials that the seller gives the buyer, then um, you may not find the key thing. So the key is to find them, um, go to Google, go through social media, and type the person's name or type the person's course and check what are people saying outside of that person's page. Look for the bad reviews, look for the not so good reviews, look for the good reviews. The idea is to find um, if there are obvious gaps in the social media management course that the buyer that the seller is keeping okay number four practical application now place priority on courses that offer you hands-on experiences hands-on experiences because um social media management is 80 percent um, 80 percent practical and 20 percent theory so if this course you are trying to buy doesn't have an um, opportunity for you to learn hands-on such that the person say, okay, do this, do that, open is opening your system and say, oh, look at what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create a content calendar, look at how I am doing it. Now, either it is pre-recorded or live, it doesn't matter. But um, ensure you are placing priority on buying course that there are hands-on experiences, where there are case studies, exercises, or projects that you can do so that you can add to your portfolio. Now, you also want to place um, priority on courses that um, help you land your first client as a social media manager. Now, if they're not helping you directly land an internship program, they are giving you the guides that you need to um, find your first um, paying client. 
and um, the reason is this what's the essence of taking the course when you don't have a client or you don't have a job to put these things into practice you just place priority on the ones that have opportunities for you to get internship or or get your first client now if there's no such opportunity you know the the responsibility of finding your next paying gig is on your shoulders okay and um, you want to find that for yourself so i don't feel frustrated you don't feel like oh i've wasted money or any of such now number five additional resources now in, in social media management there are resources that you need there are templates okay templates could include analytic templates templates could include content calendar templates content um templates could include strategy templates among all other templates now if this social media management course you are trying to buy provides templates or provides tools or softwares now if it's not directly providing you access to links but if the course is not providing access to these tools or softwares but then they are providing uh, links and names so these tools of software that you can use to perfect your work as a social media manager. Now, um, have you had any bad experience buying any course? Without mentioning the name, okay, share your experience in the comment section and um, I'd like to hear from you. I hope you found this video valuable and it influences the choice of course you want to buy, especially in an agent time when there are a lot of course vendors.